Thank you. Forward. On your guard. I'll show you what I can do. I shall show you how it's done. <gasps> Freeze. 
what I can. This will help. Yes, very good. But where shall we strike? Death from above! Aha! This is the end. Too slow. Aha! It's for life. I've been waiting for this. Yes. Surround yourself with sycophants and stifled dissent. You'll be a fine tyrant. What did you say to me? Kingdoms run on coalitions and compromise, King Roland. Not dreams. How can we birth a better future if we do not dream it first? You would best rethink your words if you wish to live, Patriot. a grave miscalculation. Under what pretense do you lay the blame at my feet? You'll not find a greater royalist in these lands. Tell them, Cordelia. You know what I did. Indeed. I saw at your council while under Gustadolf's rule. But those who would sow discord between the people and the royal family must be destroyed. Here I come. For this. this is how I win. Ta 
Time to take flight. is within reach. Yeah. Sound strike. Now then, to work. Uh, most interesting. Defeat is not an option. Now I end this. Together. I've been waiting for this. I'll be your shield. None of you will survive this. I can rob them of sight. Ah! My turn. Here I come. This ends now! Shall we strike? I'll be fine. I 
watching grandfather. Just hold on, everyone. Must appreciate it. You'll pay for this. For the honor of House Wolfort. Ah! <laughs> that hit the mark. I'm up! <laughs> I did it! You have earned your reputation well, Wolfort. Here I thought I was prepared. I believe he has suffered enough. Might we show him a measure of mercy? Now is no time for mercy. The royal family must rally together. We must expunge all who would tear us apart. My turn. Yeah! So, it falls to me. My turn now. Take more than my head on a pike to unite the people. They are driven by more than vengeance. You have sealed your family's fate. I swore to restore Glenbrook, and I shall see it done no matter the cost. I thank you for your service, Patriot. A true hero, Cordelia. We would be lost without you. I did what needed to be done. My fair people, Patriot's tyranny ends here. Know that he suffered a punishment befitting his crimes. Now we can restore our home in peace. Pray, good sir, why do you quake with fear? No harm can befall you now. Thank you, my king. I shall pay what tax I owe in due course. You have my word. Please, have mercy. Whatever do you... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Welcome home, King Roland! Gaze upon what your flight from the kingdom hath wrought! Silence! Esfrost's aggression is the cause of this. Or so you'd like us to believe! Did you see how ruthlessly he cut down his trusted advisor, Patriot? King Roland is a fearsome tyrant indeed. S. Frost was never so cruel. <clears throat> I promise you, they will understand in time. I pray you're right. <sighs> 
Is that not the girl whose parents were attacked by Patriot's men? Attacked and gravely wounded, yes. I fear there's not I could say that would make amends for what happened. How fair your parents? <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Why? Why would you do that? What in the... Hold! I beg your forgiveness. She's not been herself ever since... Ever since our parents passed. But there were no casualties. Not officially. The physicians refused to admit them. They tended to the wounds of the Royal Guard and Princess Cordelia first. We... we couldn't staunch the bleeding on our own. No! I had no idea. Liar! You told them to do it, didn't you? You killed our parents! I didn't. I would never order such a thing. This is all your fault! You should never have come back! At least tell me why. Tell me why my mother and father had to die. I don't know what to. Please forgive us. We won't speak ill of the royal family ever again. We'll do as we're told. Heavens forbid, should we commit a crime, I shall bear the punishment. Just... just promise to leave my dear sister alone. This isn't your fault. She's right. You brought none of this upon yourselves. I bid you lay the blame at my feet. Do not dwell on this, my king. You could not have known. Pray let me remain Roland to you if no one else. The crown rests heavy upon my brow. Of course. Then let us speak as equals. As friends. That is all I ask. Vengeance blinded me, Saranoa. I was willing to do whatever it took to settle the score and save my sister. I thought defeating Esros would be enough. That I could restore both my kingdom and people to their former glory. And you have, true to your word. But at what cost? Those children are orphans now. Who knows how many others have suffered the same fate? <sighs> how many innocent lives will be lost? How many people will I fail to protect? This is not your burden to bear alone. I was there beside you, and yet the outcome was the same. Bear it I must, else I will be doomed to repeat it. Where you offer comfort, I see only excuses. Yet I remain every inch the fool, for my hatred of Esros grows with each passing second. It is those dogs who must answer for this. Our people would still be whole if not for the misbegotten war they started. And you have lost your family too. I cannot deny you the rage you feel. You were always kind to me. In my heart of hearts, I know Glenbrook cannot truly be fixed. Perhaps it was broken from the start. We must rebuild our nation from the ground up if we are to set things right. How do you mean? We need something the people can rally around. Like the Hyzantians and their goddess. And we have you, King Roland. Yes, I thought so too. But I alone, nay, not even the royal line can. Forgive me, your highness, but Frederica and Benedict have returned. 
I think it would be wise to finish this conversation with the others. I feel the same. Thank you for allowing me to speak my mind. You needn't thank me. Rather, are you sure you're... All is well. Trust me. So long as you are by my side, 